family, welcome back to another video with Credit Healing LLC. Now today I actually want to discuss something because this is actually something that is very important. And what I'm going to discuss is what most, if not all of you are dealing with, and that's collection agencies trying to contact you while you're disputing. And the reason I actually want to raise this issue is because according to the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act as well as the Fair Credit Reporting Act, if you are disputing a derogatory item, especially if it belongs to a collection agency, if they bought it on pennies on a dollar and you are disputing it and they are trying to contact you while you are disputing the derogatory item when you are asking for validation, which is the original contract um, that you signed with the original creditor, and if you are disputing and you're requesting for validation, then per federal laws, rules, and guidelines, they're not supposed to be trying to uh, contact you to collect any type of debt until they have proven that this account belongs to you. Now, this is very important. If they are trying to call you while you're disputing and they're trying to collect debt, they know that they are violating federal laws because before they even started that particular collection agency, they knew the laws and guidelines that they're supposed to abide by before they even started because they know that lawsuits can easily happen and they can easily get sued for a lot of money if they're in violation of these federal laws. However, they do not care because they know that, okay, well, most people are actually ignorant of the laws and they don't know it like we know it, therefore we're going to violate these particular federal laws because they're not going to do anything about it. I said it to say that if you are disputing a derogatory item, a collection account, even if it's like $10,000, if that particular account has not been validated by that collection agency, if they, not, if they have not showed you the original contract that you signed with your signature, they are not supposed to be calling you. They're not supposed to be trying to collect um, any type of debt from you. Therefore, you can actually challenge them and you can say, wait, well, look, I'm disputing this right to item, I'm disputing not only the, the validity, but, but also if it actually belongs to me. And you actually use our letters. And when you use our letters and you send this to these particular collection agencies, and you say, well, look, you are supposed to be providing me with validation of this debt. However, you are constantly contacting me, you're harassing me, um, you are defaming me, you are hurting my credit, and yet you have not proved that this particular direct to item belongs to me. Therefore, if you do not uh, prove this within this particular allocated time period, I will be litigating this issue. We will we'll actually be filing a lawsuit and you're going to lose in court and they know that they, will, that they will actually lose because they do not have the documentation to support that the debt actually belongs to you. So if they're actually contacting you, you can actually tell them and it's best to do everything via mail because then you can keep a track record and if you want to go to court and sue them, you can keep a perfect track record of everything that you've sent to them and also you, when you send out these particular letters to, to the collection agency, you also want to get a, uh, basically a return receipt. And a return receipt is once they receive that particular derogatory, I mean that, that particular dispute letter, and you're disputing your derogatory items, you want them to sign off to let, to let you know and also to let the courts know and also the credit bureaus, if you're going to follow up with the credit bureaus and say, hey, we've actually disputed this derogatory item, they have not, they have not provided us with documentation to prove that the debt belongs to us, therefore, per these particular laws and guidelines, you are to remove from our credit report. So, if they're contacting you, send them a letter and let them know that you are not supposed to be contacting to try to collect any type of debt until you have proven that this belongs to me. So I want to let you know that you can that you have rights that protect you and you can fight them to get those particular rights to our removed. All right, family, so if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at credithealing at gmail.com. If you're ready to get started, go to www.credithealing.org. If you have any questions and you want to uh, speak to me personally, please call me at 225-733-6429.